Hi there, this is Daniel from the Score Esports, and I'm here with Hungrybox and Crunch. Guys, how do you guys feel going into this weekend? I guess you're, you know, going into uh, top 32 now. Um, I mean, yeah, we uh, we played pretty well yesterday. I was definitely having a good mindset, staying really positive and all that. And it's a lot of the stuff that we worked on over the week. Uh, this game is going a lot more mental. Um, you know, my fingers can do everything I want it to do. But as long as I'm not feeling tilted or angry or upset, um, Melee is a very random game. Some dumb crap happens every once in a while. And you just got to, like, acknowledge it, agree with it, and move on. It's like sort of like don't cry over spilt milk sort of thing. So we've been definitely working on mindset a lot. And uh, I'm feeling pretty good today, too, getting sleep. So, yeah, I mean, if, if I lose today, it's because I'm going to get outplayed, not because I'm going to play bad. That's all I know. Yeah. I mean, I'm feeling really good about it. We put uh, about a week's worth of time into prep before this, and a lot of the stuff is really coming through. Um, so, yeah, I'm feeling really, really good about this weekend so far. So speaking of prep, what does you know what does Evo prep look like? You know now that you're you know you're you're you're, full, you're officially with Liquid, being here to coach. What does Evo prep look like? Is it different from other tournaments? You know what is what's the regimen look like? Yeah. Well, here in person, like right before a match, it's all about mentality and warming up, making sure that all the stuff that we worked on is uh, is fresh, that he's ready to go in, in, into the match. Uh, outside of that, it's really like going into the lab, like figuring out new strategies, making sure that everything's really really clean. Um, and going over his, his opponents and analyzing the matches to make sure we have a good strategy going into the matches. Yeah, one, one of the interesting things was, you know, that What the Fox tournament was one of my worst performances two weeks ago, but it was a blessing in a lot of ways because it really illuminated both that I had to relook at the fucking matchup, um, relook at, you know, how to approach Fox like we always have, and relook at, like, again, mentality. But, like, that. It's all right. Um, that, that tournament that happened sort of it really highlighted everything I'm doing wrong. And so this tournament seems to be now going the opposite. Like, we're doing everything correctly this time. So um, if that tournament didn't happen, I would have probably not known about it. So uh, I think it worked out in a lot of ways. So everything kind of happens for a reason in that way. Speaking of what the Fox, I was gonna, I wanted to ask you, you know, obviously Mango's been doing really well lately. He got he got you with the Fox. I'm wondering what, you know, did you notice something different in his play style or was it just something that you, were, you weren't feeling yourself mentally speaking? Um, I mean, he was just doing what I was doing at CEO and, you know, low tier city and smash and splash and pounce. He was just, he was being the better player that day, you know, that's all it was. And uh, he's got really good flow. Mango's actually, it might sound weird, but he might be at his prime right now because, you know, he might say, oh, but he had, you know, he was a king of 2014. Sure, but everyone else wasn't as good. And to, to be that consistent now and always get top two, it's actually pretty, really, really impressive. So, you know, definitely props to him. But um, I'm really, I'm re I really think that finals is going to be me versus uh, Mango at uh, Grand Finals. I really, I really do think so for this tournament. Right. And Crunch, I wanted to ask you, you know, obviously kind of something that was big news beforehand was the, you know, the coaching ban at Evo after quarterfinals. Is that something that affects you or like, is it something that you want to do like in between sets, just give the advice or is it more of like, or in between rounds, give the advice or is it just more of like in between sets after matches going over stuff for you? Um, I mean, I would love to be able to uh, to coach in between rounds. Like we had that at DreamHack and I think it was really, really effective. Um, I think it's a decision that the community has made, and that and that's fine. I, I understand like where they're coming from as well. Um, so I, st I still think it's pretty much just for us. It's just making sure we're ready to go before the matches. Mentality is good, and we I do I can do coaching in between sets of grand finals. So we do have that going for us if it gets to that point. And is there anybody? I know you said you want to play. You know you expect it to be Mango, you and Grand Finals. Is there anybody else? You know other Mango that you really want to get a chance to play this weekend? Like you know somebody you want to rematch against, somebody you want to prove that you can beat again. Even if it's just like somebody you know, even if it's not a god, just somebody that you want to get a chance to play with again. Um, I would really like to play Armada Winners Finals, uh, beat him, have Mango run through him in losers, and then me and Mango have a great Grand Finals. That'll be the, the dream bracket, I think. You got a full storyline prep there. Uh, yeah, it's just uh, you know I've been having daydreams about this tournament, and then some of those scenes that daydream have already um, been coming true, so dude. I think uh, flown along. Watch out, you don't want to give away the script. <laughs> <laughs> no, dude, I, I am the script right now. <laughs> We're out of the script. Uh, so, I also kind of want to ask how you feel about, um, I guess, you know, going forward for the rest of the year, because Evo is just sort of one stop in a whole bunch of tournaments for the rest of the year. Is there, are you, are, are, you know, are you know, now that you're also probably going to a bunch of these as well, is there any, any bur like, idea of burnout for you? Are you feeling like you don't want to go to all these tournaments? Because we do have them one after another for the next couple of months. When I win a tournament, I feel zero burnout. I have full adrenaline and full energy and momentum going to the next event. Um, the one thing right now, I'm actually not going to go to as many events in, um, after SmashCon because I'll be working at Alabama according to my job rotation. Um, so it'll be actually more difficult for me to travel. So I'll be going to, to Big House, hopefully DreamHack Sweden, uh, SmashCon, Apart from those three, I'm actually not too sure which one else I'm going to. So, but luckily, the, the from August to February, 
it's uh, kind of an off season for tournaments in terms of like it's, it's not like summer of smash of course genesis is in january but new next new year work and i have more and and big house but in january i have new vacation days so i can definitely go to genesis so it's just about you know being picky being choosy and because i'll be in alabama I'll, not too much of a smash scene there so i'll be doing a lot of not play a lot of streaming um hopefully not play with him uh, about a really g good amazing rig for uh computers so we're gonna just uh, try to keep active try to keep playing melee you know regardless of where i am you could send me to antarctica and i'll figure out where to play melee so it's just uh, it's a love for the game, it's dedication for the game. You gotta just keep playing it, never stay out of practice, and yeah, it's just a way of showing respect to not only yourself but also all the other players who are also putting in massive work. It's kind of the way you have to approach melee right now. So um, burnout can only happen if you approach the game negatively, and right now we're making sure we don't do that. I like the idea of you being the uh, the best player in Antarctica. <laughs> maybe <laughs> maybe the, maybe the penguins aren't you know practiced yet. If I, if, I, if I win Evo, it'll be the world title, so I count Antarctica too, yeah, so. We, we win that. <laughs> uh, what, what about you? Is there any kind of sense of, like, trying to go to all these tournaments, trying to, like, analyze all these sets? Like, is it is it to a certain extent tiring, or do you think it's just something that, you know, it just comes with the territory? He's trying to play too, man. Yeah, He's yeah. To yeah I, I try to get well. in there. I, I, I think it's amazing. I'm really excited to be able to go to these events, and Liquid is uh, uh, sponsoring me as well. Like, shout-outs to them for, like, believing in what we can do. Um, I'm not really feeling the burnout yet. I think uh, it's happened to me before, but usually I take like a week break or something, and then I'm ready to go for like the next couple months. Um, I think it's just it's it's to avoid burnout. I think you just have, if you just have a good mentality, like always seek to learn. Don't just focus on uh, like that this one win or this one loss, and like have that like weigh you down and put all that stress on yourself. You just focus on learning continually. Uh, I think it's a good way to try and avoid burnout. And just as a last question, you know, this is you know biggest melee tournament of all time. Probably, you know, a lot of people's first times at, the, at a, you know, competing at Evo in Melee. A lot of people's first time competing in a lot of games. Probably even more next year. What is, you know, for both of you, what is the advice you would give to somebody who's first time going to a tournament this huge and playing? I um, mean, for me, it's always been if you bust out in bracket, just play as many friendlies as possible. It's how I got good with Puff. You know, I will go to the Florida locals and just get destroyed. But when you play friendlies and ask for advice, you know, the players there, it's very. We want the scene to grow. I want to do better. So everyone's really good about giving advice and stuff. I'm honestly really bad at giving advice, but most other players can give advice. So my advice is go to as many events as possible and play lots of friendlies. Um, I would say just approach it with the mindset of learning. You're probably going to get destroyed if it's your first tournament, if it's your first major. That's all right. Uh, ask people. Everyone is really, really friendly. They, if you ask them, like, hey, what can I improve, whatever, uh, almost everyone will uh, will help you out. And I've had a ton of putt players come and ask for advice, too. So, yeah, just keep a positive mindset, learn, and ask as many questions as possible to learn. All right. Well, thank you to both you guys, and good luck this weekend.